Okay, I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about some native grasses that we can find in horse pastures as well. Um, and so we've talked previously about the differences between grasses and legumes and so forth. You've had a lecture on the common types of grasses and legumes that we feed horses. But I do want to kind of go a step further and talk about just some native grasses that we would find um, that horses might be foraging. So um, I've just kind of got some pictures and um, some samples here. So this first one here is Johnson grass here. Um, and Johnson grass gets very, very tall. Um, I'm going to look at the weed. I'm going to try so we can see this just a little bit better. Um, and it can get almost like a, a, a fuchsia type of color here at the end of the seeds. Okay. Um, and Johnson grass, again, is not something that we typically feed horses in large quantities, but it is a native grass that we can find on, on, um, on pastures, especially if those pastures are not um, cultivated regularly or if they're not reseeded for specific grasses. And so these are all native. A second type of native grass that we find um, in Texas is going to be little barley. And so this is a, a, a very small seed head here. I'm just going to come up just a little bit closer here so you can kind of see it. Um, okay, and so let's see if I can get this to focus just a little bit better. Okay, so this is little barley. So little barley, um, the seed heads go off in a in a in a, uh, a parallel manner off of the main stem. Okay, but it's it's relatively small, as you can kind of see here next to my finger here. And this is a this is a a full um, seed head there. It's 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 very small. Okay, compared to hair barley grass here, and one of the biggest difference between little barley and hair barley is that they have long fingerling hairs that come off each one of those seed heads. Okay, and the length of the seed head is substantially longer compared to little barley. Okay, and I've got pictures here for you guys to look at as well. So all these are on pictures as well. Rescue grass is actually very common native grass, um, and it's often confused with rye grass, but rescue grass, this is rescue grass here. Okay, and it grows, the, the seed heads itself will grow uh, in a parallel fashion as well, kind of um, opposite of each other, and it kind of fans out. Okay, but this is rescue grass here. And then the last example I have here is winter rye, and there's different variations. We have perennial winter rye, we have annual winter uh, rye grass. I'm sorry, I'll take this back. This is rye grass, not rye. Um, uh, but you can have either perennial or uh, annual rye grass. Um, the, the head for these are quite small. Focusing. Focus a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, here. It's a very, very small, but as you can see, they go in parallel fashion to each other, and then they're kind of offset diagonally in terms of how they come up the stem. So that's ryegrass. Okay, so we'll go over this again. So this is, this is Johnson grass here. This is little barley. Okay, and the barley seed actually goes around the whole circumference of the stem itself. Hair barley, as you can see here, it's flatter, but they have these long hairs that come off each one of those individual seeds. And then this one here is rescue grass, very flat. And set that up, and these can get pretty hard to distinguish too, um, especially when, um, especially when they get to the later stages. So this is the later stage. These are the earlier stages. The later stage here, they kind of they kind of flare out. They almost look very similar to the um, the ryegrass that I'm showing you here. Okay, so this is what we might find if we were just to take a single sample, handful of sample out in a pasture, and this is just showing here. If we get it to focus. Here, we've got a, a large variation. So we've got essentially the ryegrass here. We've got rescue grass growing here. We've actually got some mixed in here. This is actually um, little blue grass here. So that can be found in there as well. Um, and then this sample over here is just show. I just wanted to throw in a legume. So you can kind of see the differences between side by side, how we'd have a difference between a grass itself 
and then a legume. Like, again, a legume is going to have a thicker type of stem, it's going to have a leaf. It's a flowering plant compared to grasses which have seed heads. Okay, those are some differences, side-by-side -side differences with those right there.